Are you ready to rock? Are you ready to rock? Either way, welcome to it. This is another episode of No Face, No Case with Vic. And uh, welcome. It's been quite a minute since we last, uh, you know, interacted with each other. But nonetheless, though, we're still back and better, you know. And it's been quite the, you know, a mess. Because a lot has been going on in the past days, uh, in the past weeks, rather, months. To be, to be specific, you know, we had lost the former apartheid president and people had a lot to say, you know, uh, you know, as, as, as for me personally, I feel as if, hey man, uh, a leopard does not change its spots. It was not, it was not so long ago, just last year when homie was saying, hey, uh, apartheid was not a, a crime against humanity. Whereas from the beginning, the thought of it is just completely wrong. But anyway, we are here now. Uh, 20 or 20 some odd years into democracy and a lot is still the same much hasn't changed but uh, what can we say this is the life that we live right because i do remember when shortly after the passing of oh that nelson mandela um we were told as a, as a young youth as a young nation by one of these people that came to the crashes at the time she said that we should question everything you know we should question everything about the count we should not just accept that okay because we're supposed to drive on the right hand side and so forth and so forth you must actually question ask yourself why is things the way they are so that is just you know my pledge i want to further pass it on to the people listening to this right now to say that you should question everything you know especially in this country you know everything is not is not what it seems exactly so yeah that is basically it in terms of the former president, you know, uh, former apartheid president. Uh, yeah, we, we, we shall see him whenever we do. But nonetheless, uh, Astro World is another thing that actually has been bothering me, you know. It's been bothering me for the longest time. Because now, Travis Scott, okay, so this is a person who came out of the gutter, you know. He worked hard to be where he's at. And now we criticize him, you know, because for some odd reason, people lost lost their lives at his event and now we have him to blame and mind you he did not know what was happening so he says on the report he did not know what was happening where those eight people died and lost their lives the youngest aging 14 but odd what's very odd about it is that uh his spotify streams seem to have increased by 40 percent after this incident just happened, you know, and I'm bummed because I'm I'm a huge fan of of the rager that is Charles Scott. You know, I love his performances. You know, he's like very exquisite. I did mention that he's probably like the greatest performer, according to me, you know, with all the rage and the fire. And the kids love that, honestly. So it's just, you know, it's just unfortunate that there had to be such a calamity, you know, where people had to lose their lives. And now people are insinuating that, oh, my God, it's a it's a ritual. It's a sacrifice. It's a, you know, it's something to do with the devil, Freemasons. And we honestly don't know. You know, we do not know what what happens behind the scenes, you know. But as far as repairing goes, uh, homie decided that he's going to pay for the funerals and pay for all the costs, including Drake, too, because he was at that event. And shortly before when, when they started their performance, people were already going. So, yes, he said that he will also, you know, do whatever he can to pay and, and, and help, you know, so. It's all good though. Um, I just hope that he recovers from this. We don't know when we, we're gonna get the album though, because the album was due to come. Uh, but at least we got two tracks so far. So good. Uh, and as well as Astro World streaming like crazy. So I just hope that Travis makes it out of this and he comes back stronger and more resilient, you know? But anyway, this is not about Travis. This is not about hoo hoo. It's not even about me. This episode, this special episode is about uh, a special guest. You know, she goes by the name of Uzaba M. She's a singer-songwriter. And guess what is it for? Drum roll. Yes, she makes gospel music. So, brilliant, right? This is actually a different thing because I've never actually got to interact with someone who actually makes gospel. I always see them on the, on the TV shows, you know, gospel time. You know, I always see them on like, you know, CD covers when you're walking in Jersey. I always see them on those type of things, but I've never really had to interact with one. So it was quite a blessing and uh, it was amazing to, to, to see that there's such, such a diverse, you know, f uh, way of artistry. Like there's so many people in this industry, you know, they make different songs and they touch and they heal the people, you know. So it's quite amazing. But 
without any further ado, uh, here she is. I had a chat with her and we just spoke, you know, back and forth and it was quite amazing. So here it is. Hey, how are you? Hi, I'm good. Thanks for now you. Once again. Okay, so it seems as if I couldn't capture it. Okay, get to heal people. I still get to heal their souls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, tell me, mention three of your favorite gospel artists, both national and international. Togo Zumbambu. Travis Green and Janita Benham. How did you record your very first song? Um, we recorded in 2019. Um, we studied with It's called Music Is Life. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Do you believe that it is a gift to become a gospel artist, or it's something anyone can pursue? No, it is a gift for me. It is a gift, and I think it should be a gift for everyone. It shouldn't be indoor that anyone can just pursue. No, that's not how it should be. Okay, tell me about your YouTube channel. Uh, YouTube channel, Um, It's called Uzada I M, Uzada M, YouTube channel, Yami. Um, and um, the number of viewers are like close to 4,000 so far. I'm not where I want to be, but I'm getting the because I'm actually looking at using this for my million. Like, hmm. okay, okay. I can imagine that your parents took you to church as a child. How was that experience like? It was a great experience. I knew solely, not even for a single day. Yo, it was a great experience. In the end, I am that I am today. So, I am the great next, not even a second, even though it's a second, even though it's a long but I, I'm angry, great. Actually, I, I thank my parents for that. Okay, what would you do if your future children refuse to go to church with you? That's if you want children. Yeah, but yeah, I'll just pray for them. At least in all of us, again, Kondzwein, Marabanga, and Zizin, because I believe that my 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 notice we have to get So I can So with your kind of personality, how do you react when you're upset about something? I I cry and um Kala Ninja Alo on your turn to music with background. Minanya Lung Sele Lamangzo Kala, I don't just cry. Kalamu music messing ya kala gay. Okay. Um where do you see yourself in the next five years? Um good music career, right? Of course, yes. Um, I'm actually seeing myself ministering like umhlaba wonke, not just into yala and langkona pela, but I'm just seeing a multitude of people being laila, being That's just where I see myself seeing myself going international, worldwide. Okay, and finally, when you are worldwide and on tour doing major shows. What do you want your loved ones to remember about you, always? My laughter, because that's where my warmth is. It should be my laughter. <laughs> okay, how many kids do you want to have in the future? Bonus, bonus round. Uh, two. Ah. Two would be fine. <laughs>
the cost of living is too high. Hey, boy, boy, <laughs> boy, and girl, boy, boy, girl, girl. Boy and a girl. Okay, okay. I, 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 I think you can work with that. <laughs> yeah. So, what is your type when it comes to men? I to be a God fearing man. He should be umuntu osabunkulunkulu. In that way, ningam chamber. No gunya no gunya gzolandela. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for that. Zaba. And thank you. Boom. And just like that, it marks the first end of our newest podcast. You know, shout out to Zaba. She came through. She did the most. And uh, I hope, you know, you also got to learn a little bit more about gospel, where it entails, where it's from. And know that actually it's a living, real thing. Because I know most in- individuals don't even recognize gospel. We all look at it. I'm a piano, you know, hip hop. But, you know, there's a diverse, there's a diversity out here. And you need to join that diversity. Otherwise, you want to sell up behind. But anyway, without a doubt, thank you for so much for tuning in. This was at October. And uh, be sure to follow me on my socials, which is at October Worldwide on Instagram. And October underscore on Twitter. October everywhere. October everywhere. Are you ready to rock? Because December is just around the corner. <laughs>